Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it's Wednesday. It's, I don't know, about five o'clock. Um, I'm just at dancing, waiting for the girls. They've got acro. So I thought I would have a quick catch up week, catch up week, catch up of the week video. It comes to this time of day and I, I can't speak very well anymore. Um, so yeah, it stopped raining which is a good thing. It's actually quite warm today, just not very sunny. Although I did take the littlest three um, out for a walk this afternoon. It was actually quite hot. Um, it's actually been ages since uh, I went out for a walk on my own um, with the tiny two. If you've watched our older videos, um, I used to take out Agnes and Joseph every day uh, especially during the summer and the better weather months. We used to go out for a walk every day to the beach, to the park, um, just to walk around in the sunshine. Um, pretty much every day we'd go for a walk somewhere, to the woods, anywhere. And it was kind of our daily thing. Um, it kind of stemmed from lockdown, actually. You know, from going from lots of walks, four lots of walks during lockdown with um, the older ones. And when we could only get out for that certain time of, you know, that amount of time every day, for that like hour, we got into a lot more into walking. We'd always like go for family walks and stuff before, but I maybe didn't take the littlest ones out quite as much. Um, so we got into walking quite a lot during COVID. Um, and then obviously when Ben went back to work, but we were still like in lockdown. I used to make sure, and the kids were still homeschooling. I used to make sure that we all got out every single day. Every morning we would all go out for a walk um, religiously because we needed to get out of the house. So it's kind of stemmed from that and you know i carried on doing it when everybody went back to school i carried on doing it with agnes and joseph because they really enjoyed it you know and i mean we towards the end of summer when the kids went back to school but it was still really warm and we'd just go every day to the beach and just play on the beach for an hour have some snacks have a cup of coffee it was lush but anyway obviously winter came winter you can't really get out for a walk very much we tried but sometimes the weather is just so dire here you just can't it's too cold it's too wet it's too windy the wind is just horrendous during the winter and then obviously I was heavily pregnant and we did kind of go for the odd the odd walk out but not so much um and then obviously Flo's been born we've had people on study leave Ben's been on leave she's only like what 10 weeks old so we're still getting into a bit of a routine yeah so today we um went out for a for a walk it was nice we stopped in the park on the way back um they were both really tired and a bit whingy but it's been quite a while since they've done that much kind of walk. but although they walk fine when we all go out together they don't moan but maybe it's because they've got all the older ones there as well so anyway so that's been today um i can't even remember oh monday tuesday so i'm trying to sort out a dining room um dining room is kind of the place where everybody goes in the house so it's not just for eating the kids play in there their books are in there they color and craft in there all the craft stuff stuff is in there most of the toys are kept in there all the games the puzzles um the lego everything is pretty much in the dining room so the younger ones especially not so much the older ones but the younger ones so like up to noah and eva they all go in there all the time um and they're all doing things in there all the time and it and we're trying to sort it out because everything gets dumped in there and it's not it's a big room but it's not that big for eating and all the units so we've bought new units to go in there but they're in boxes still at the moment because we haven't had time to build them um and it also means i've got to sort out all their drawers so they've all got a drawer or two each for like paperwork and school stuff and just drawings and just stuff that they've got hanging around um we've done it since the older ones were small because you know they've always kids have just got bits and pieces haven't they so we gave them all a drawer in and they were in the plastic units we've got the plastic units at the moment so they'd all have a drawer each and the, everything that, that was theirs that was downstairs they you know chuck in there um but the plastic drawers don't last all that long and you know if you put anything heavy in them they break so we've bought wooden units they sort of, sort of cube units because now the older ones are at high school they kind of need somewhere to put all their books um and they're not bothered about having drawers and their books are heavy and they just break the drawers anyway so they just want somewhere to stack them up and the younger ones they just need somewhere to put their stuff 
but the other stuff needs sorting out as well so monday we decided that we'd sort out the jigsaws and the um the games so we ended up being in there for most of the day i think we've done every single jig jigsaw puzzle and played pretty much every game today and yesterday um just to see if all the pieces are there i was actually quite surprised most of the games have got all the pieces most of the jigsaws have got all the pieces one or two are missing but i was pretty surprised so yeah that's kind of been that's that's occupied the smaller two for um for a good couple of days uh so that was quite good actually i think that might have been yesterday and today what did i do on monday then i can't remember what we did on monday let's have a think monday i remember what i did monday monday i just had you know what it's like after the weekend when you've been busy and you've been out and and you just need some kind of time to catch up with paperwork, bank stuff, all those bits and pieces. So that was what I did Monday, much to um, Agnes and Joseph's disgust because they were very bored apparently and they needed stuff to do and they were very bored. So I think come afternoon time, we went and met some friends um, in the park and that cheered them up. We took a walk out to the park. Um, so yeah. I get very bored. Monday, so that's Monday and that was Tuesday. On Monday night I had to do the shopping. That was something else I had to do, shopping. It's just been one of those, it's kind of, everybody is, we're coming to the end of term here in Scotland. Um, anybody who lives in Scotland knows already, but anybody who doesn't, so we don't get a half term from Easter till summer because we break up two weeks earlier than England, although we go back two weeks earlier. So they have the Easter holidays for two weeks and then we have like a couple of, occasional days and we had obviously the long weekend with the jubilee um but it's only ever kind of a couple of extra days so we had they don't get like a week off for half term so come this time the end of term they finish at the end of next week they are all very snipey they are very um bored they're getting they're just sniping at each other they, they just get really Anstey, you know what it's like when anybody who's got kids knows that it's just I think adults start getting you know the routine you just want to get to the summer holidays please now just want to get to the summer holidays and it's so close and everybody wants to finish school now so it's kind of just been one of those weeks and it's one of those weeks where you kind of I question myself a little bit on social media and stuff like that because you kind of think you start doubting yourself sometimes. I had a bit of a Monday morning, I had a bit of a morning like that. I had a bit of like, you know, am I putting out the right stuff? Um, am I sticking to what I've always said that we were going to stick to? And, you know, just, you start questioning. I think it's the same in anything. You start questioning yourself quite often. And it's, some days I can feel overly confident about things, or not overly confident, but confident about things. And other days I question everything I do. I think that's just the kind of person I am. And just, what I do I don't know why I don't think any of us know why really but I do question things um and then you kind of think oh should I do this should I do that but anyway it doesn't last long I normally talk it over with Ben and I start feeling better about things again I think with social media especially um it's just like it's like a game some of it you know things like Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that because you know the algorithms and all that sort of stuff from instagram and facebook i just want to put out my blog and what you know write about us and we're lucky that we've got lots of you know fantastic followers but instagram obviously hide things from people the algorithms hide things and you know all those sorts of things and that's the kind of side of it that you kind of can't get your head around all the time and i don't necessarily want to um so anyway it's just been Oh, kind of one of those weeks where you I think we all feel a little bit in limbo because we're waiting for the end of term um and Ben's got a couple of weeks off in the summer which is good he's got the second week off because I thought the first week would just mainly be spent with people arguing with each other and being a bit snipey so it's best off booking the second week off which he did and my birthday week which is the week of the 26th of July so whatever that is the week before or a couple of weeks before they go back to school so That'll be good. We've also just managed to get another car. Um, you know we've been looking for another car because we've needed another seven-seater because obviously we've 
been we had a five seater Astra and a Sharan seven seater, so we were two seats down. We were one seat down, and then Florence was born with two seats down. Um, so we managed to get a car from the same garage that we got the Astra from, and he took the Astra in for a part X, which is brilliant. And so we've got this one. Um, I'll just get out and show you a minute. So yeah, it's another Zafiro, which is what we had before, but it's in really good condition. It's got low mileage on it. Um, it's got a year's MOT and uh, you can, somehow when you get it from a garage and we know the people at the garage, when you get it from them, you kind of feel a little bit more confident, I guess, than you do when you just buy it from somebody you don't know. So it means um, that it's actually really nice to drive as well. It's nice having a Zafira back again. I miss my, and it's a bit more, more, it's a bit newer than the ones we had before. And Olivia thinks it's great because it's got lights in the mirror, which is fab. And it's got heated um, wing mirrors, which is great. Um, it's the little things, you know, it's just the little things. So yeah, anyway, it means that we can now go off in the summer and have some days out. We haven't been out on big days out since before COVID. Um, obviously everything was closed that summer, although we did have, still had a really great summer. Summer 2020 is probably, if you ask the kids, it's probably one of their favourite summers. And I know it was in the worst kind of circumstances, but we had the best time because everybody was at home. It was sunny all summer, I think that year it was sunny. And we spent so much time just out in the garden, pretty much all, all summer out in the garden. The kids had a fab time because we just spent money we would have spent on going places buying stuff for the garden so we had swimming pool bouncy castle no I didn't have bouncy castle trampoline um and they just had a great summer uh so you know but then obviously last year things weren't quite back to normal and you had to book everywhere and plus we obviously didn't have because we had to get rid of both of our old cars during covid so then we got the one car back and we didn't get another car until the beginning of this year so we were kind of just on one five-seater car so we couldn't go anywhere last summer unless we could walk there um which is fine you know we live in a really beautiful place and there wasn't that many places you could go anyway so it wasn't too bad but anyway this year we wanted to be able to take the kids out on a few days out like to landmark to um Codonas. these are kind of our local or avi way sort of theme parks if you like um and over to the Wild Highland Wildlife Park, the places that we haven't been able to go that they really, really love. Although we did go to the Highland Wildlife Park last year or the year before, was that 2020 we went? I can't remember now. I think it was when we were filming um, with ITV or STV, ITV, um, Tunnel 3. I think we went over there then. But anyway, we just want to be able to take them out. So we're really pleased we've got a car we've got two cars now we've got enough seats for everybody which means we can get out and and even not even the big things just you know go over to rose isle go to cooper park in elgin as all of us because normally we have to wait until there's two people out and then we can go but we can go to duffers castle any of the places that we need you know we'd like to take everybody to so yeah that's a really good thing that we've managed to get a car last night so Tuesday night we had um, an award ceremony to go to at Lossie Town Hall um, for Elizabeth, well not for Elizabeth, but for, it was the awards, Lossie High Awards ceremony for 2022, um, end of year, school year award ceremony and Lizzie was given a um, an excellence in Higher Graphcom award. So we went along to that last night, which was, it was really nice. It was a really nice ceremony. Um, you know, there's lots of people with lots of awards, so it was nice. It's the first I know. I went to a Leavers Assembly a couple of months back. Seems like ages ago, a couple of months back. But it's nice to be able to to be back doing normal things again. Um, and I know not everything's back to normal. It's like when I was talking about going places in the summer. We've still got a book pre-book, so we can't just turn up on the day. We've got to pre-book things, which obviously when there's 14 of us, it can be a little bit. I'm hoping that we can still, we haven't left it too late. It's like three weeks away. But fingers, oh no, it's just started raining on me. Fingers crossed we can still get places. Um, but yeah, so it was a nice ceremony. It's nice to be able to go to things again. And Friday, this coming Friday, 
Toby's being given an award at school. So there's awards. I think it'll be the first thing we've been to in the primary school, inside the primary school. I haven't been inside the primary school for nearly three years now or since 2019. Um, I'm not actually, I'm not going. So Ben's going. Um, oh, he's going to try and go anyway. One of us is going to try and go because obviously there's only two people that can go, but he's been given an award as well. So he's got an awards um, assembly uh, on Friday morning. So that'll be nice. And it's like halfway, it's really raining on me now. It's like halfway through the week already. Um, Thursday is, I'm going to do a day in the life actually video tomorrow because tomorrow is Elizabeth's prom. Um, she might let me get a picture because we are going to stop. She's actually going to get ready at, ready at a friend's house. So I won't see her before. So I said, could we come to the hotel and, and just take some pictures? And it's in Elgin. So I'll be in Elgin with the little ones anyway for dancing. So I said, if we could stop on the way back and just get some pictures, that'd be really nice. Um, she's been looking forward to a prom for ages. So that would be good. I would have got pictures of her at her award ceremony last night, but there was no way she was going to let me do that. Do you know what Lizzie's like? But I might... I might just get pictures or a video tomorrow. You never know. I'm sorry, I'm sneaking in a box pop it. Still like my favourite thing and they sell them in B and M. So I'm eating toffee pop it. I think I'm having to stop the video to shove some more in my mouth. Um so something else I was thinking about doing. Um and I haven't done it yet. I might have touched on it before. Um I was thinking about doing a video about anxiety and mental health issues and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I haven't really, I've probably done, kind of skirted around it and spoken about some things, but I haven't done a proper video on it because obviously it's something that's quite personal to me and I've written a lot about it, but a lot of the time it's easier to write about it than it is to talk about it. Um, but Anybody who watches me knows I can blether on for, for ages about stuff. I might go off on a bit of a tangent sometimes. Actually, most of the times I'll go off on a bit of a tangent. When Ben edits videos, he's like, you were talking about this, and then you started talking about that. And I'm like, well, yeah, but then I do that in conversation as well. Um, because things pop into my head all the time, and I think, I need to talk about that. And then I normally forget what I was talking about. Anyway, so yeah, I'm thinking I might do something like that. Um, I guess I haven't done it before because I'm not quite sure where to start. Um, but maybe if I start, then it will kind of just lead on. What do people think? I wonder if people, if you know, if people are the only reason is like the same reason I write about it, because if it helps somebody else to know that they're not in the same, they're not in alone, you know, that, that other people are in the same boat, that other people feel like they do, because I know at times I felt really lonely, um, when I've been, you know, suffering with really bad anxiety and stuff like that, you feel like you're on your own. You feel like you're, that nobody understands. So I think if you know that other people do understand and other people do feel like that, because quite often, you you know, you'll hear somebody and you think, I never knew that they struggled with that and or that they, you know, felt like that. And it kind of makes you feel better. So, yeah, I think I might do that. Okay, I'm back home. Um, the girls finished class, so I have to then get them back over to Lossie for six. So, um, yeah, I kept losing my train of thought as well because people kept walking past the car and were being really loud and I, kept, I could see them coming in my mirror. They kept putting me off. Anyway, um, I'm kind of going to wrap it up, I think. So it was just a bit of a um, catch-up video. I think I was saying about how... Uh, we went out for a walk, obviously, today. And we're kind of starting to get into a better routine with Flo now. Um, I think having everybody at home... I might have touched on this earlier in the video. As I said, I do go off on a tangent quite often and forget what I said. Um, but, yeah, having everybody at home after she was born, obviously, Ben was off on maternity leave, the kids were on holidays. And then the girls have been on study leave and we've had people on and off at home. Um... So there's always somebody around to kind of give her a cuddle or hold her, which has been great. It's been it's been brilliant, especially in the early days, you know, when you just want to cuddle them all the time and they want cuddles all the time. And that's fine by me. I don't 
I'm not one for um, denying cuddles when they're tiny. I know, and maybe with the older ones, we were kind of pushed more to make sure they were in their, you know, in their beds, in their cots, and make sure you did it all the right way. And you know, you must do it like this, and they shouldn't co-sleep, and they shouldn't do this. And and then as I've gone on, and I've obviously we've had more children, and I've found our own way of things that work and you don't kind of feel that you have to do things the way that people tell you to do them anymore um you know she does still co-sleep with us um because that works for us at the moment she won't be forever because she'll soon get she's starting to get a little bit annoyed now with people holding her and stuff when she's trying to sleep so she'll soon want to go in her cot um but for now i'll take the cuddles thanks and it means we get sleep so that's fine by me it works for us um but yeah, I know there's kind of a lot of people that say, or some people that say you shouldn't hold them, you're spoiling them by holding them. I don't agree with that at all. I really don't agree with that at all. Um, the more cuddles, the better. I think after we had, like I said, with the older ones, you know, I was so, especially with Elizabeth, I was so worried about getting it wrong all the time that you kind of listen to what everybody tells you to do and you should do this and you should do that. And I remember with Olivia, um, you know, they said, you must get her in a cot. You must, you know, she must be sleeping for her naps. And oh, she would scream and she was only little. And I would stand outside her room and think, oh, this is just not right. I shouldn't be listening to her screaming. You know, you'd go in the controlled crying, they call it, don't you go in. And I, you know, I get that when they're a bit older, you do have to kind of get them into a bit of a routine. But, you know, ours are in a routine as such, as soon as they come home, because we have a routine at home already. And I am a big believer in routines. But I think when they're, tiny babies just enjoy them for tiny babies just go with the flow and I'll go with the flow and just enjoy them just enjoy that if they grow so fast and just enjoy the newborn cuddles just just enjoy it don't feel that you've got to rush through to the next stage and get them to do this and get them to do that but as anyway she is growing and she like I said she is starting to get you know a bit antsy when people are holding her when she's trying to sleep so we're, we're kind of now everyone's gone back to school and I'm on my own with the three little ones obviously in the daytime I'm starting to try and get her and now I think as well fingers crossed that we have the milk situation sorted it's been a bit of a battle but I've just recently changed her to because obviously we got put on Gaviscon um because of her reflux and the anti-reflux milk wasn't working she's not um she couldn't take the it was too thick she struggled to take even with the bigger teeth she struggled to take it all it was just a bit of a nightmare so then we were giving gaviscon um and then a few people have suggested hip organic milk um baby milk for her so i changed to that about a week ago maybe just under a week ago and fingers crossed she seems to be turning a corner i don't know whether it's coincidence whether it's not going to last i don't want to tempt fate in saying anything but these last couple of days she's been a bit better i've been trying to get her into a little bit more of a room better routine at home um that suits me for when i'm on my own or us when we're on our own you know so that she has a bottle because she was feeding every two hours and she'd get really upset but then she wouldn't take all her bottle and it was just a bit of a nightmare so um She's been going three hourly um, now, most of the time, not always, but most of the time. Um, she started to have more because she doesn't like napping very much. She likes to be awake. She likes to see what's going on. She doesn't like missing out on anything. She's a typical Sullivan girl. But obviously she needs a nap because she is only 10 weeks old. So she does need to sleep. But you try telling her that because she knows everything, bless her. But she's just she's not like any other 10 week old baby i've ever seen she's she's like six months old um and she wants to be doing what six month olds are doing and she can't because she's only two months anyway we're starting to turn a corner i think touch wood cross fingers i hate saying that because tomorrow she'll wake up and she'll be awful all day but i think i think she's not having i think the gab has gone is helping with the reflux which is making her not so upset I think the milk um, is obviously much gentler because it's organic. It's much gent gentler on their tummies, which is a good thing. She's obviously a lot of a lot of our children have had tummy problems um, with reflux, uh, sickness, allergies. A lot of them have had 
tummy problems. They run in my family for a start. So, you know, it was inevitable that we were going to have um, problems, really. Anyway, fingers crossed. She started to have a little bit better naps, which is another reason we went out for a walk this afternoon because it was like two o'clock. She'd had a bottle at sort of half 12. She wasn't, I wanted to kind of string her out till half three till we got back from school. She needed to have a bit of a nap. So I thought, right, it's a sunny day. We'll, we'll put her in the pram and we'll go out for a walk. And she did pretty much sleep for, um, she likes the pram. She did pretty much sleep for the whole time. She woke up as soon as I opened her hood because again, she might have missed something. Um, and she doesn't like to miss out on anything, bless her. So anyway, fingers crossed, we've got it sussed, I hope. I hate saying that because something will happen and it won't be sussed. You never, that's the one thing I've always learned with little ones is that you think you've got it sussed and you haven't because they change so fast. Routines, all right, Tobes? Routines change so fast, they grow so fast, everything changes. Never think you've got it sussed because they change. But if you can kind of get it sussed and you can kind of get in some kind of routine, you're doing all right. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm going to go and give her a bottle now. And the girls will be back from dancing and I need to go and cook some tea. So and Toby's making something random. Hello. Out of something. So anyway, midweek catch up. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to do a day in the life video tomorrow. Um, let me know what you think about the whole mental health um, anxiety video. Um, and I'll see what I can put together and yeah drop us a like subscribe I'm trying to think of all the things that I'm supposed to say hit the bell for notifications that's the other one and we will see you in the next video bye